And it's it's almost a mid part of camp, you know. Are you feeling this grind yet? And, and uh, how's camp gone so far? You're definitely feeling the grind, um, especially with the two of these and the weather. But camp is going good, guys. Like Coach Boston said, when you broke it down today, we're uh, we're, we're sustaining for two hours better than we did last year. And um, everybody's still running around. There's a lot of energy. Guys are making it to, through the last team period like it was the first one. So, um, I mean, you feel the you feel it, but. Just mindset-wise, we want to win, and we know this is what it takes. Everybody in the country is doing this stuff. Now, the conventional wisdom was that the offense won the scrimmage Saturday. Um, how did the defense react to that, and and what was what was kind of what was the the goals after in following that? Right. Um, our coordinator wasn't happy at all. So, like, our his reaction was uh was one we never experienced before, even after all the games we played last year. So, I mean, he sent a clear message. Um, and then me and uh, Ryan Javion and Hunter Williams, the three captains on defense, got the defense together. We've been preaching it this whole week and um, just finishing and, and, and playing to the best of our ability and, and knowing that that's not a winning a winning style of play that we, uh, we presented in that scrimmage uh, this past Saturday. And, and guys know where we want to be. We, we know where we want to be after Elon and Syracuse going into Army and going into Indiana, those two uh, home home games. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're uh, very noticeable about that, and we, we've taken the – right steps to change that and move into a different direction. So hopefully we get a better outcome this Sunday scrimmage. On the positive side, it is good to see the offense move the ball like that and see those guys fly around and score and put 40 points up on the defense. So that was good. Now, uh, how much are you missing uh, getting to play in, in, on your side of the ball with, with Josh Banks and with, and with Tyler Harris? Uh, I mean, those big guys are important. Um, it's evident. Um, you saw it last year and and this year also. I mean, you got guys like Willie Yalberry, Zeke Rodney, and um, uh, Khalil Welsh, they're all stepping up into their role and playing a good uh, backup role right now and playing as ones. And Coach Clawson is, is, is one of his mottos going into camp. The young guys got to play like older guys, and those guys are doing it. Um, obviously, they're not playing like Josh and Tyler would be, but I mean, I'm going to miss those guys. I'm, I can't wait to get them back when they uh, get healthy. And, um, and I think that's the most important part right now is getting them ready for the season. Um, both of those guys have experienced foot injuries that are, are nagging, Josh and Tyler both. So, I mean, just to get them back and get them healthy for Eline and for the rest of the season is important. So, how excited are you about the, the start to the season? Oh, I can't wait. It's um, opening on a home game on a Thursday night, um, one of the most exciting times of the, uh, the uh, year, it's football season, and um, especially being my last time as a deacon, I can't wait. I'm excited to see where uh, where we're going to go this season, and just from how camp is going and how spring is going, and the teammates and the recruits we've gotten, um, I'm excited to see the direction that team's going to take this uh, fall.